A number of institutions around the island benefited from a donation from Produce Delight Farms on Thursday. Here's more. Operation Give Back was in full swing on Thursday morning as ZIZ News captured owner of Produce Delight Farm, Otis Jeffers, making a donation of pumpkins to various institutions around the island. The first stop was at the JNF General Hospital, where Mr. Jeffers explained the rationale behind his Operation Give Back initiative. It is a good thing to be a blessing to others and to give back to society. And today I'll be donating a few pumpkins to all the hospitals around the island, the Cardin Home, the St. Christopher Children Home, the New Horizon Rehabilitation Center, His Majesty's Prison and other establishments around the island. He explained that this donation is also a means of promoting the Eat Local concept. So as part of my operation give back, I chose to donate pumpkin. But why pumpkin? Pumpkin is a crop that can be grown all year round. It's very easy to manage. And when we grow pumpkin, we harvest pumpkin in abundance. And also we're trying to promote the Eat Local concept. And we want our um, locals to grasp the meaning and of eating local and to understand the nutritional benefits of um, these wonderful, lush, um, ripe pumpkins that we have here. Director of Health Institutions at the JNF General Hospital, Dr. Jensen Morton, thanked Mr. Jeffers for his donation and spoke of the benefits of consuming pumpkin. And I would like to say thank you to Mr. Jeffers for the much appreciated donation. Um, at the hospital, we try our hardest to promote healthy eating when anyone is here as a patient. And pumpkins are a very good food. You know, we know they're rich in vitamin A, they're rich in antioxidants, they can help to boost an immune system. So it's a wonderful food to include into the diets of um, patients and of all people. We are really happy that um, locally pumpkins of such high quality um, are being produced and we will definitely continue to source um, produce like this locally and we are very much appreciative again of Mr. Jeffers and his very much appreciated contribution. The next stop was the Cardin Home, where coordinator of activities Micheline Phillip received the donation on behalf of the residents there. The donation drive also visited the School Meals Centre, where top chef Fitzroy Meredith spoke of how he will be using the pumpkins that were donated. I'm so happy that Mr. Jeffers could think about bringing back some of his product here because we do use a lot of pumpkin to make that chicken pumpkin soup for his students out there. We're trying to utilize up a lot of farm products for this term. So right now we can do it pumpkin fitters, pumpkin, all sorts of pumpkin, pumpkin drinks and everything like that. So we're trying to cut out the sugar sweet and make good use of the farm products. Other locations that received a donation include the St. Christopher Children's Home, His Majesty's Prison, and the Ministry of Social Development and Gender Affairs. Reporting for ZIZ News, I am Shanique Harvey.